easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know and even people you don't, whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and you can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the layer section within Doodly. Doodly is not capable of that by itself, but with some ingenuity, we can show you how to take care of this yourself. We're going to use the uh, hold music in the background for uh, background music. <laughs> so. Anyway, it's showing you how to increase layers. Doodly does not have the ability to increase or decrease the size of the layers or numbered layers or anything like that. The only thing they have is to hide the actions area and that's it. So you're forced to use these scroll bars. So, but you can show the view if you're on Windows 10 or a Mac. I'll show you on Windows 10 right here. If we minimize this and on the desktop that's not on an icon anywhere, you right click and go to display settings alright so you have two different things here you have what's called your display resolution and your uh, zoom you know so be able to your scaling if you will alright uh, let's say I go to say 1366 by 768 alright you'll see in doodly I can show at 1920 by 1080 I see three and a quarter layers so inside here I'm gonna go here just to show you what this will do all right now all of a sudden you can see look at my layers you know that's awful right because the, the the resolution is too small and everything gets blurry so I'm gonna go back to 1920 by 1080 so we want it on the highest resolution that we can get but keep in mind going to a higher resolution also means everything gets smaller and further away or it'll appear further away as you can see here. Now I can see with 1920 by 1080, I can see three and a quarter layers, all right? In addition, you have your zoom or your scaling, all right? I have it set to 125 for the rest of my computer, but while I'm in Doodly, I can change this to say 100, 100%. See how everything gets smaller, all right? But when I go to Doodly, I can see more layers. But keep in mind, everything else gets smaller too, like all the numbers here and everything that you're trying to work with down here in your timeline, everything gets smaller. But that is how you increase the view of the number of layers you have is by working with your display resolution and your uh, zoom functions or your scaling inside of Windows 10. If this video helped you, leave a like on the video and leave a comment below and let us know. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more doodly tips and tricks. And as always, thanks for watching.